the interpretation of the image, where to place the camera, the nature of, um, you know, the nature of the subject matter, uh, which at that time, everything was opening up in the early 60s here in America, you know, and it was uh, scandalous. Put your head back. Put your head back. Open your mouth. You can have one little bite. I think what a lot of people forget is just what a, a hot book Lolita was. Originally, Nabokov couldn't get a publisher in the States or, or in the United Kingdom. So it was published as a dirty book in Paris. And it was in 1955 that Graham Greene and the Sunday Times in London nominated it as his novel of the year. And it then took off and it very soon found a publisher. He thought Lolita was a fantastic book because it clarified the feeling we all have, that good and evil does not come in the expected package. These are movies about characters. He made movies about machines or, or you know, I, I, it's always confounded me when I've heard that. Lolita is, you know, it's nothing like the book, but he did draft the author to write the screenplay, so they were, you know, in, in collaboration with each other in another kind of version away from the novel that uh, is more, much more about the human condition than I thought the novel ever was. Lolita works as the very first Stanley Kubrick film for me because I couldn't imagine anybody else making Lolita. It's a comedy, but it's got a lot of serious elements. It's risque. Um, it's in your face. It's got big performances, and, and it works completely. At a time when American cinema in the early 60s was on the way down, in other words, the studio system was finishing. This was a vision. This was somebody with authority making you look a certain way at things. When I stood Adam naked, oh, Adam naked, you should be ashamed of yourself, Captain. Before a federal law and all its stinging stars. Tarnation, you old horn toad, that's mighty pretty. That's a pretty poem. Because you took advantage. See, it's getting a bit repetitious, isn't it? Because, is another one, because you cheated me. Because you took her at an age when young lads... That's enough. Say, what you take it away for, mister? That's getting kind of smutty there. <laughs> because of its scandalous theme, the film had a crippling distribution problem. Well, the Catholic Church had their own censorship, and that if they condemned your film, they would then send notices to, to their churches, uh, uh, the Catholic churches all over the country, uh, that uh, it would be sinful to see this film. Tom, you just touch me, and I, I, I go as limp as a noodle. It scares me. Yes, I know the feeling. That held up the film for about six months, because they did condemn it. There was a picture of Lolita on the, on the bedside stand. So when Humbert and his wife, Charlotte, were in bed, they felt that Humbert was using the picture for sexual stimulation. I denied that. I think that, that in, in all fairness, uh, they were right. Anyway, we agreed to, to limit the number of looks at that picture. To get a release, Kubrick had to recut Lolita. As he later told Newsweek, had I known how severe the limitations were going to be, I probably wouldn't have made the film. There is a claim in the film world for Stanley Kubrick, director of Lolita, arriving with Mrs. Kubrick. Lolita's strong performance at the box office was, no doubt, boosted by the controversy. 